mathematics graduate school is a challenge. It's really hard for people. But what do you do if your GPA is not on the high end? So perhaps considered a little bit lower for graduate school mathematics. What do you do? So this video is motivated by an email I received because I actually do have a very good answer, I think, for this person. I'm gonna start by reading the email and then doing my best to answer it here in this video. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. This is a very short email. The person's name is Tanver and the subject is Suggestion on Grad School Prospect. I actually need some specific advices for myself. I just graduated majoring math with a 3.09 GPA, which is technically so low, but I always wanted to do math research. I started my undergrad in an engineering department first, but wanted to pursue math and change my majors. This person went from engineering to math. I couldn't do well with grades, because like you have mentioned in one of your videos, I fell out of academic topics, wanting to learn more and more new stuffs. There was mental health issues, etc. Can you give me some specific suggestions on what or how can I do to get a chance in math grad school? I will apply this September to January time. Thank you so much for your time. I have tons of advice on grad school stuff because you know I went to grad school, I spent months doing research. I've helped other people apply for grad schools in various programs in engineering, math, computer science, uh, chemistry. So I have a lot of experience with, with how it works. So let me just start by saying this. There are a lot of schools, I'm gonna assume that you're in the US, there are a lot of schools for math. Like a lot, like there's tons of schools. People always focus on like the top schools, you know, Stanford, MIT, Princeton. There's a lot of good schools, a lot of really good schools. So my advice would be to apply to a ton of schools and make sure you apply to a bunch that aren't top schools, but also apply to some top ones. So, you know, whatever you can afford and whatever you have the time to apply to. I think I applied to, I think it was 17 schools. It's been a while. And I got into quite a few. I got into quite a few and I got a bunch of rejections as well. So apply to a bunch of schools. So how do you find these schools? Let's talk about that. What I did was just go on Google and type in NRC Rankings Mathematics. And it's gonna give you a list of all the top schools. It's an old list, but it's still a pretty good list. Then you can also type in AMS Group 1 Schools. Those are the best schools, the Group 1 Schools. Then you have the Group 2 Schools. Those aren't, aren't as good, but they're still pretty good schools. So apply to some top schools from Group 1, and then apply to a bunch from Group 2. And then, if you can find some lesser known schools, apply to those as well. Try to think about things like cost of living. Um, do you know anyone there? Are you happy in that environment, the weather? Is it a place you want to be for the next four, five, six, seven years? Because it takes a while you know, to go through graduate school. So you wanna make sure that you are comfortable. But there is hope. And the reason there's hope is because there's not like tons of people studying math and tons of people applying to grad school. I mean, it's not like there's like a rush of people like, oh, mathematics is the best news. It's not like AI, like, oh, AI. You know, Every time something new comes out, people always are interested in it. For example, um, several years ago, uh, there was a big you know, big thing with um, with aerospace. You know, everyone's into aerospace. And then uh, environmental engineering became a really big thing for a while there. And now it's like AI is a really big thing. So, you know, the world goes through phases and people have different interests as the world changes. And I feel like math, I don't know if it's ever been like in favor. I think perhaps in the 70s, and this is just something I heard from a professor I had, that in the 70s, there was a big push for mathematicians, but I don't know if that's true. In any case, my point is that there are tons of schools and there's not like hundreds of applicants flocking to these schools, right? There's tons of schools that are just regular schools or not top schools, and you can probably get into one of those schools. You should also take the GRE, the general GRE, study, buy a book on Amazon, just any GRE book, and study and do well. And take the math GRE. Some schools require it, some don't. If you do bad, it's okay, because honestly, 
if you're applying to a lot of schools that aren't top schools, a lot of these lower level schools, they don't even require the GRE, right? So yeah, you basically somehow have to prove to this graduate committee that you can enter the program and be successful. That's, that's really all they care about, right? They don't want to admit students that are gonna fail. They want to admit students that are gonna do well and have a good experience and you know, get their degrees and maybe publish something, right? So you just have to get in. And I honestly think you can. I, I really think you can get into grad school with that GPA because there's so many schools. So yeah, don't worry so much and have fun applying, right? I mean, there are so many schools. You can spend hours on the internet reading about schools, about the programs, about the funding. You know, it's free too. You know, I, I would recommend, you know, don't go anywhere unless they're paying you. And again, check cost of living and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a fun experience applying and you can spend hours doing research. And you sh again, you should get in somewhere. Just don't get hung up on applying to only top schools, right? Apply to a ton of just lesser known schools. And there's a bunch of them, right? Every state in the U.S. has several universities, right? Apply to, you know, the ones that you want to apply to. So yeah, that's my advice. If anyone else has advice for Tanver, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.